Hey, hey, hope you're doing well. Now, when it comes to navigating the fretboard, everybody has their own weird and wonderful and bizarre way of looking at things, and I certainly have my way of looking at things. And I'm gonna show you how I see the fretboard. <laughs> Quite honestly, I wish that someone had told me this many, many years ago. I've only discovered this really in the last couple of years. So all we're gonna do today is learn one simple pattern. Now this is not the be all and end all of soloing or guitar improvisation or anything like that, but it's definitely gonna get you jumping from key to key a little bit more tastefully and way easier. Okay, so I do remember the first scale I ever learned. It was G major in this position and it looked like this. Now I find that one is not very symmetrical and it doesn't seem to be an easy one to get your brain around as a newcomer to looking at scales because you've got two fingers, three fingers, two fingers and you're shifting around and it doesn't seem to match and isn't, like I said, it's not symmetrical. So I find personally that the three note per string approach seems to be a little bit better, especially for my little brain. And this is how I do it. So from this first position, we're actually gonna start on F sharp and not G. <laughs> Now notice I went back up to the G to make that sound like G major because that's the key that we're in. So you want it to sound musical. Now technically this is starting on the seventh note of the scale. So this is the seventh mode or seventh position. However, for the pattern, I see it as pattern number one. And I'll show you why. So we'll talk about the pattern first. It's nice and easy, we do. There are three shapes. We have, that was first finger, second finger, and pinky. Next shape, we have first finger, third finger, and pinky. Now you notice I did those twice. So when we get to the B string, we have to remember to shift because it's the B string. And this is where the third shape comes in. Now we only have room to do two of those, but on this shape in particular, there are gonna be three of this shape. So if we had a seventh string, it would go doo -doo -doo, and that would be, obviously we've got here the G, the A and the B, so G, A, B, and then we go up to the C, D, E. If you don't wanna learn notes, don't worry about notes for the minute, the pattern actually just works. So, let's move to the next position. We start on F sharp, on second fret, move to the third fret, and we start the pattern here. Now this, we start on the second lot of this shape, so it's two of those. Now this is where the pattern starts again. When we start again, we need to shift up one fret. Now remember the first shape was one, two pinky, two of them. Now we're at the B string, so we shift again. One, three, pinky again. Boom, boom. So now we're down, we're back to this position here. That's the second one of those. Three of them in a row. Then the pattern starts again, so we had to shift up one fret, but it's also the B string, so we have to shift another fret. So here they combine and we shift two frets. Pattern started again, we do one, two, pinky, easy. Now this position here, we start on the second one of those, and we're back to the second position, second shape now. Then we do three in a row, B string we shift. Come down to the bottom again, that's the last one of those. So the pattern starts again, one fret up. B string and we shift. Now this is where you're gonna get the three in a row from the first note. Then we start the pattern again, so we shift one fret, B string shift. Now most of you should be familiar with this position, E minor. And then we're literally back to the start on the F sharp. So that's where you wanna start. Learn the pattern and learn them in order, learn them how they belong with one another and how it works in G major or in E minor. Now, why did I say or E minor? Because G major and E minor have the same notes. Just like all of these scale patterns here have the same notes. So all of these modes will have the same notes. So if you do this in a kind of roundabout way, you've got a short little introduction there to modes. Yeah. So once you've learnt that, you've got the pattern down, you understand the order, challenge yourself and see if you can play all of them from the one position. What do I mean by that? I mean always start on the F sharp. Do your first shape, etc. then move to the next shape. Third shape. 
and so on until you get through all of those patterns. Now, I don't recommend you do try to do it blind. Set yourself up, have them in front of you, try to do them in one, and then try to remember them and see if you can nail it that way. Now, this is gonna help you to no end. Once you understand how it all works, doesn't matter what key you're in, all you need to do is find your root note. Now, if you remember, that's what that shape looks like for the root note, G. We've got two big ones, then we start again. All you need to do here is find the appropriate root note. So let's say now we're in A, you just take that exact same pattern, shift it to A. Easy peasy. I hope some of you guys got something from this way of thinking. And if you enjoyed this kind of video, make a comment and I will do a few more in the future. But for now, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. See you next time.